We're talking about prodigies. We're talking about young fighters. You check out the tail of the tape here. He is right at the top of the list. Boy, he is, and he's, he's still so young, 23 years, and he's been out for almost yeah. two years based upon uh, ACL replacement. But Norbert Navinia Jr. at 5 and 0, 23 years of age, against Andy Manzola, 38. This is a, a gap in generations here. Now. The experience gap, which jumps off the page when you look at that tail of the tape here. A 38-year-old, 14-year pro, and Andy Manzolo, the Estonian, transplanted to the UK, 35 professional fights, and an extraordinary experience gap here. Oh, absolutely. Andy Manzolo has fought some just outstanding competitions. He's got his own gym. He is a very good and complete fighter. You're just looking at a guy with only five fights in Norbert Nervinia, but we're talking about he's way better than just that 5-0 record. Has his own YouTube channel, documentary, you name it. Like all the kids these days, his dad competed in the 1980 Moscow Olympics. To Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight here at Bellator 291, uh, the prelims go now to three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first the blue corner. At 5'11", weighing in 185 pounds even, the veteran brings a professional record, 26 wins, 9 losses from Southampton, England, Andy, the Predator, Manzolo. And across the cage, his adversary, out of the red corner, at six foot, weighing in 185.6 pounds as a professional. He's undefeated, five victories, no defeats. He fights out of London, England, Magic, Norbert Noveni. In charge, your referee, Brian Miner. Noveni does not lack for confidence. Well, he gets that from his teammate who's in his corner, our, our analyst. Yeah. MVP is in his corner right now, and you'll see a lot of techniques that Norbert will use come from training with Michael Page. Yeah, you look at the look at the stance, look at the bounce. It is very familiar if you've watched MVP. That's what Norbert Navigny brings, though. He has got power in his hands, very strong, great grappling. And again, second shot. Puts him down. Navigny looks like a young Ken Shamrock to me. Every time I see him, I go, man, he looks like Ken Shamrock. And the thing is, when we first saw Ken Shamrock, nobody looked like Ken Shamrock. No, that's true. Right now, Andy Monsol is sitting there going, okay. What, what have I got myself I into gotta, here? I got to figure out a different approach here. We're going to see if he can do that because when you're getting hit like that, and a guy is standing there just waiting and then giving the counter, and this is where Novini should go that down with him. He is very good on the ground. Yes, Manzola, black belt in judo and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but Novini can definitely be on the ground with it and do good work. And in addition to all the experience Manzola has, he's had like 80 Muay Thai fights. Oh, look, Andy Manzola has been in there, like I said, against some of the very best. He has got a ton of experience. But it's funny because Norbert has grown up with this based upon his dad and the wrestling that his dad did and what he has gone through. He is a, he is a pure athlete and he is well trained. time down there has sort of invited him. But this time, Norman Levinny has accepted. But notice the posture and notice how he, 
Manzola trying to pull him down. Doesn't happen. This is what I was talking about with Rovinia as far as how physically strong he is. And he knows exactly where he needs to be, how he needs to defend, and then open up for his strikes. And he has that connection to KSI. He's talked a lot about Jake Paul. He has, he has his eyes on a lot of different areas in the fight game. So he wakes up every morning thinking about Johnny Evelyn and the world title. And it was interesting in talking about it. Oh, that's a big, big shot. Overhand right. And Zolo in trouble. He's definitely hurt. He's getting stung. He, he was covering up, and when he was gone, he was out of the pocket. Manzola was still covering up. He's got a lot of time left here in this round. Now he's got no time left because it's over. Let the hype train keep rolling. Well, that's a heck of a performance coming off of that knee injury. All that time away. What knee injury? Exactly. He's going to get one doing that dance. <laughs> This is the last shot, but it wasn't the first. That was when he came in with the knee. And you, can, you can just see, Andy Menzel has no answers for what's going on. And I think right here at the end, as a clean shot, Menzel is going down again. Looking down at the ground, here comes the flying knee. Just Norbert Nervigny, just outclassing. A very good fighter in Andy Menzel, just this is the future. This is what you're looking at. This is when he's talking about, you know, taking on guys like Johnny Evelyn. He's got a ways to go. But, you know, it's going to come fast. He keeps on fighting this way. He's going to be a handful for everybody. Michael C. Williams will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, referee Brian Miner waves off the contest. Three minutes, 12 seconds into round number one for the winner by TKO Magic Norbert Noveni.